Welcome to National Eyes. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon for more breaking updates. At 35,000 feet, a new reality is emerging, one that's not just about the view from above, but about the shifting balance of power far below. The world skies, once dominated by a handful of western giants, are now the stage for a dramatic transformation. This transformation could redraw the map of global power, with consequences reaching far beyond aviation. The very routes that connect continents are being rewritten, and the players are no longer the same. On November 4, 2025, the world reels from a landmark pact. Russia and China have announced a bold new partnership to jointly develop high-bypass turbofan engines for commercial jets. This isn't just a business deal, it's a statement of intent, a signal that the global order is shifting. Their target? To create an indigenous engine for China's C919 airliner, a direct and open challenge to the long-standing dominance of Boeing and Airbus. For decades, these two Western titans have set the standard, but now, a new contender is rising. This alliance, forged by necessity and a shared resistance to Western pressure, marks a turning point. It signals the end of uncontested Western dominance in aviation technology and the beginning of a new era where innovation and ambition know no borders. For decades, Western control over jet engines has been more than just a matter of technology. It's been a powerful tool of influence, a lever for sanctions, and a way to shape the destinies of nations. Access to these engines has often meant access to the global economy itself. Now, Russia's deep engineering legacy and China's unmatched industrial might are combining to break that chokehold. Together, they're not just building engines, they're building a new future, one where they set the terms. Airbus, the EU's aerospace champion, faces a seismic shock, caught between a US-China trade war and a new state-backed competitor that's no longer reliant on Western engines, the company must now navigate uncharted territory. The stakes are higher than ever. The future of European innovation and the livelihoods of thousands of skilled workers hangs in the balance. Factories that once buzzed with activity now face uncertainty as the industry braces for a wave of disruption. As Beijing and Moscow join forces, the world watches with a mix of anticipation and anxiety. Will this partnership truly reshape the global aviation landscape, or will it falter under the weight of its own ambition? The question now is clear, will this unprecedented alliance soar to new heights, or be grounded by the technical and political headwinds that have grounded so many before? The answer could change the world as we know it. This alliance was born not from prosperity, nor from a shared vision of technological advancement, but from a convergence of necessity and adversity. Both nations found themselves increasingly isolated on the world stage, facing mounting pressure from Western powers, determined to maintain their dominance in global aviation. Russia's 2022 invasion of Ukraine triggered a wave of sanctions that crippled its aviation industry. No new Boeings, no spare parts, grounded fleets. Airlines scrambled to keep aging jets in the air, cannibalizing parts and improvising repairs, but the situation grew more desperate with each passing month. Domestic projects like the Sukhoi Superjet, once symbols of Russian ambition, stalled and faltered, exposed by their deep reliance on Western technology and supply chains that had suddenly vanished. By late 2024, Russian manufacturers hadn't delivered a single new passenger jet. Assembly lines sat idle, and the dream of a self-sufficient Russian aviation sector seemed further away than ever. China, meanwhile, faced its own crisis as the US-China trade war escalated. Tariffs soared, supply chains frayed, and Beijing responded by banning Boeing deliveries, leaving its airlines scrambling for alternatives. Yet China's flagship C919 airliner still depended on the US French Leap engine. Washington held a veto over its aviation future. For all its industrial might, China could not escape the grip of Western technology. Russia brought engineering know how and decades of experience in aircraft design. China, in turn, offered capital, a vast and rapidly growing market and the political will to challenge the status quo. Both countries recognized that to secure their futures they needed independence from Western control, technologically, economically and politically. Their partnership is a pragmatic response to shared vulnerability, a union forged by necessity, not choice, and driven by the urgent need to chart a new course in global aviation. Together, they aim to break free from Western technological dominance, hoping to build an aviation future where their skies are no longer dictated by others.
The Comac C919 is China's audacious bid to shatter the Boeing Airbus duopoly. This ambitious project represents a significant leap for China's aviation industry, aiming to establish itself as a major player in the global market. Designed to rival the 737 MAX and A3201 and NEO, the C911's journey has been long and fraught with setbacks. From regulatory hurdles to technical challenges, the path has been anything but smooth. Yet, each obstacle has only strengthened China's resolve. Until now, it's relied on Western engines and avionics, its Achilles heel in a world of sanctions and trade wars. The reliance on foreign technology has been a double-edged sword, providing advanced capabilities but also exposing vulnerabilities. China's answer the CJ-1000A, an indigenous engine but its readiness is years away. Developing a homegrown engine is a monumental task, requiring extensive research, testing and refinement. The new partnership with Russia aims to accelerate this timeline, slashing years off development. This collaboration brings together expertise and resources, potentially fast-tracking the engine's deployment. Comac is ramping up production, targeting 75 jets in 2025, and up to 200 annually. This aggressive production schedule underscores China's commitment to becoming a dominant force in aviation. The Boeing ban has opened China's vast market to the C919, and international interest is growing. Airlines around the world are taking notice, intrigued by the potential of a new competitor. With a homegrown engine, the C919 could become a true global contender. This would mark a significant shift in the aviation landscape, challenging the long-standing dominance of Boeing and Airbus. The stakes not just market share, but technological sovereignty. For China, the success of the C919 is about more than economics. It's about national pride and technological independence. The C919 is no longer a distant dream. It's poised to reshape the skies. As it takes flight, it carries with it the aspirations of a nation determined to redefine its place in the world. The heart of this drama is the joint engine project, a technological moonshot. Russia brings metallurgical expertise from its PD-14 program, China, advanced manufacturing and deep pockets, their goal fast-track a world-class engine, rivaling the CFM leap, and end dependence on Western tech. Jet engines are among the most complex machines ever built, mastering them takes decades. For Russia, this is a lifeline for its sidelined engineers and a way to bypass sanctions. For China, it's the final step to true aviation independence, and a propaganda coup. If they succeed, the global aviation landscape will be transformed. The world is watching to see if this technological gamble pays off. In Toulouse, Airbus faces a new era of uncertainty. Once the neutral beneficiary of US-China rivalry, Airbus now risks being caught in the crossfire. A US embargo on China could paralyze Airbus's Chinese operations, given its reliance on American components. The Sino-Russian engine project threatens Airbus's hidden advantage control over critical technology. If the C919 becomes fully independent, Airbus faces a formidable new rival across Asia, Africa, and Latin America. The EU must now choose Sar Basi East Side. Side the Napur de Mwatrasard the Siuzao at the US, risk China, or seek a precarious middle path. Over 100,000 European jobs and the future of EU innovation are at stake. The rise of a new axis in aviation forces Europe to confront its strategic vulnerabilities. The comfortable duopoly is over, the rules are changing fast. The US-China trade war and the new aerospace alliance are shaking the global economy. The WTO warns US-China trade could plunge by 81% in 2025 if tariffs persist. Markets have tumbled, with $1.5 trillion wiped from US stocks in a single day. China has retaliated, halting US commodity purchases and restricting rare earth exports. Export-driven economies worldwide face shrinking markets and disrupted supply chains. Companies and consumers alike are bracing for higher costs and less efficiency. The era of seamless globalization is ending, replaced by rival blocks and fragmented standards. The Sino-Russian partnership is both a symptom and a catalyst of this new divided world. Experts agree. The tariff war is a disaster for aviation. High tariffs and bans make long-term planning nearly impossible for airlines and manufacturers. The West's control of jet engine technology has been its strongest leverage, now directly challenged by the Sino-Russian alliance. Boeing's woes are compounded by internal missteps, not just geopolitics. Some analysts doubt the new partnership can deliver a viable engine soon, citing technical hurdles and past friction. 
Others warn that desperation and determination could accelerate progress. The consensus necessity is driving innovation, and the West's technological monopoly is under real threat. The outcome will reshape the industry for years to come. The world must not underestimate the power of two nations with their backs against the wall. These shifts have real consequences for ordinary people. In the US and Europe, hundreds of thousands of aerospace jobs are at risk as markets fragment. Boeing's loss of China threatens a vast supplier network. In Russia, sanctions mean fewer flights and rising costs. For Russian engineers, the China partnership offers hope after years of decline. Travelers worldwide face higher prices and fewer choices as competition wanes. The dream of affordable global air travel is under threat. Aviation has long connected cultures and economies, now those links are fraying. The battle over jet engines is a battle over the future of a connected world. We stand at a crossroads, as the Russia-China alliance challenges a century-old order. The Boeing Airbus duopoly and Western leverage can no longer be assumed. The EU faces tough choices as global power shifts eastward. The success of the new engine is uncertain, but the stakes are enormous. The outcome will shape not just aviation, but the future of globalization itself. Will the world fragment into rival blocks or find a new balance? The story of the C919 and its engine is the story of our time. The next chapter is being written now, its impact will be felt for decades.